Greetings and welcome to the world premiere of Spectre Layers 9. The new edition is focused on a big set of new features that all work together to make the Spectre Layers workflow faster, easier, and more precise than ever before. And of course, we'd like to thank our current users for providing us with all the valuable feedback that led to the Pro 9 offering. Your voices have been heard. And so, let's get started. Okay, the top line feature in Spectral Layers Pro 9 is Dynamic Spectral Processing. It allows you to monitor the effects of spectral process parameter changes in real time as you work, with sound and vision that follows your moves. Here you can see the cursor chasing the processed audio. I'm going to show you how that works, and how this feature is supported by other new features. We'll start working in the context of a project that features a new Pro 9 process called Unmixed Levels. Here, I'm loading a sound effects WAV file called Harbor Levels. Let's listen to it. Now, this is a harbor sound with a boat horn. I've used this sample before. You can do a ton of stuff with it using Spectral Layers processes. It's all about dividing and layering the sound in any way you like. Now here, I'm going to zoom in, and you can see that the harbor sound ambience is really emphasized in the low end. To pinpoint the frequency at the high end of that band, I'll reach up and select the new cursor crosshair feature under the view menu. And the crosshair lines help you get visually locked in fast. I can add coordinates to the cursor to get more information. The time and frequency coordinates next to the cursor give you more information. So here we can see that the top end of the low frequency rumble checks in at about 120 hertz. Okay, now let's zoom back out. When I do, the scroll bar appears on and off. If I want to keep it on all the time, all I have to do is go up and select Always Show Scroll Bar under the View menu, and it stays visible. And this is new in Spectral Layers Pro 9. So now I can stay focused on the bottom end of the spectrum where most of the action is. And this is actually my preferred workflow. And there's a little bonus in it here because I can bump the scroll wheel in either direction and restore the locked to zero dB view that I use most often. And I really appreciate that. Okay, now I'm going to the layer menu and selecting the new unmixed levels process. Here we go. And the dialog box appears. This new process splits the sound into two layers based on a user-selected amplitude threshold. And inside this dialog box here is the real star of the show, the preview button, which is now available in every process, including VST plugin processing. Now you can audition processes in real time and arrive at the perfect process parameter settings as you explore the subtleties and nuances of every parameter, as well as the ways the different parameters interact with each other. Let's put the process in bypass mode and review our sound by hitting the preview button. Unmixed level splits the sound into two layers based on amplitude, louder and softer, high level and low level. And here we can choose which one we want to audition. I'm choosing high level. And what was once the OK button in version 8 is now the preview button in version 9. Real-time spectral processing. And getting the right settings used to be a trial and error process, but now we can do it in real time. Let's try auditioning the high level with a default threshold value of minus 36. Okay, you can hear the change and you can see the playhead chasing the processed audio across the spectral graph. There's no gapping and it's a smooth experience. Now, this takes a little bit of computing power, and so let's take a quick look here at my machine specs. And you can see that this is not really a new machine, but it's doing the job really well here in this case, so we're good. And while we're on the topic, Spectral Layers Pro 9 is Apple Silicon compatible. Okay, now let's go back to our dynamic preview. Here, I'm previewing the process by repeatedly hitting the spacebar while at the same time dialing down the amplitude threshold with the mouse. You can hear the low frequency rumble of the harbor noise get louder as I lower the threshold. And this is dynamic spectral processing in action, new in Pro 9. Okay, 
Now I'm going to go in the opposite direction with threshold control, and you can both hear and see the harbor sound receding in the preview. Okay, with the threshold set at minus 36, I can actually see that I'm capturing the louder parts of the horn sound all the way up to about 2K. The real-time preview is really great to have. I can save the setting and come back to it. Now here I'm saving it with the name Boathorn. The addition of process and tool presets ties into the new real-time preview functionality. You can start with a default or custom preset and then work from there as you monitor process changes in real time. Save reference presets as you work and use them as touchstones on your way to the final process. All the tools have preset options as well. Okay, now, if you're already a Spectral Layers user, you might have noticed that I can work in the interface even while a process dialog box is open. And I can do that because Spectral Layers Pro 9 now features non-modal process dialogs. And this is one of the supporting features that makes the new dynamic spectral processing feature so great. You can move the playhead, make selections. You can modify layers like I'm doing here. You can make adjustments up in the display panel. Move around the interface freely. Now, improvements like these all come together in the big picture to enhance the workflow. And we're still inside the new unmixed levels process. I can click outside the box to deselect the selection. So now the process will happen across the entire timeline when I click OK. And there it is. The sound has been divided into two layers based on amplitude. I can play them both at the same time, and there's no artifacts whatsoever. I'll solo each one. OK, high level. And low level. And now these layers are available for independent processing in any way you like, including BST plugin processing right in the application. And of course, the new dynamic spectral processing functionality is available here too as well, and with the same visual feedback. And the unmixed levels process, it's there to be used in conjunction with all the other processes and tools available in the program. If you'd like to see this same file processed in a lot of different ways, Check out this live stream video on the Steinberg YouTube channel and learn about how these tools and processes all work together as a system for extreme sweetening and post. Now, in addition to a brand new process, we also have an improved process in Pro 9, and that's the deep lead process. And now this is what the deep lead dialog looks like in Pro 8. As you can see, there's only one available source option. You can de-bleed a layer multiple times with multiple sources, but to do that in Pro 8, you need to run the process one source layer at a time, which can be time consuming. Also, there's no option to preview the process. Okay, now look at the new Pro 9 de-bleed process dialog box. Here you can select multiple source layers, or you can select all layers at once. In addition, of course, the new real-time preview button is there, as well as a few presets and the ability to save and recall your own presets. And I'll show you how this works. Here I have a short beat segment with kick, snare, toms, and hi-hat layers active. I'll play it. Okay, now I'll solo the kick. And next up, the snare. And the toms. And finally, the hi-hat. Okay, under the process menu, select Deep Lead, and the process dialog appears. Now, here you can see that I have three source options instead of just one. 
And over here in the Layers panel, when I select the Snare layer as the target layer for deep leading, and here I'll solo it, you can see that the options in the dialog box change automatically to conform to the current target. Now here I'm selecting the Hi-Hat layer as the first deep lead source. Let's preview the process. Okay, now I'll add the Tom's layer and preview that. Okay, now I can apply the process and then we'll listen to everything in context. Okay, now here I'm repeatedly undoing and redoing the process. The snare layer is green. And so here you have a good visual representation of the material that was removed from the snare track during the deep lead process. And so the result is going to be higher quality deep bleeding in Spectral Layers Pro 9, better sounding, faster to perform, more dialed in, and much more efficient than applying the process repeatedly to the same target layer using multiple bleed source layers. The deep bleed process is especially interesting because it's one of those processes that uses source layers as actual tools for affecting target layers. It's analogous to sidechain processing, but it goes far beyond that. Cross-layer processing is a spectral layer's hallmark, with utility for both repair operations and sound design work. Now, to see more cross-layer processing in action, check out these imprint process tutorials on the Steinberg YouTube channel. Well, that's about it. I do have one more thing to show you, and that's the new playback output gain control. This control allows you to set an independent program output level specifically for spectral editing operations. It's just one more handy feature in a group of features with a focus on workflow integration, efficiency, ergonomics, and increased precision. Thanks for watching this Spectral Layers 9 preview. You know, it's all about the workflow. Real-time preview, working anywhere in the interface at all times, more recall options, better visuals, and even a new look. The new feature set comes together as a whole to significantly boost your productive capacity across the board. Now, Spectral Layers Pro 9 and Spectral Layers Elements will both be available on June 29th. Make sure to check out your purchase options over at Steinberg.net. You can expect to see a 20% discount for all Spectra Layers retail and update versions that will run until July 21st. You'll be able to get up and running right away with the new Steinberg licensing system. Just start up and sign in. No keys or dongles required. And there are lots of Spectra Layers tutorial and live stream videos on the Steinberg YouTube channel. Tutorials are great for quick starts, but the live streams are deep dives where we get way into the details. The live streams get indexed right away so you can just hit the markers and see what you need to see. I'll be hosting the first Spectral Layers Pro 9 hands-on workflow live stream in July. And so we'll see you there. And again, thanks for watching, stay well, be safe, and good luck with all your projects. Cheers. Thanks for watching this video. Spectral Layers Pro 9 delivers new levels of speed, precision, power, and control. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Steinberg channel.